Greetings, everyone. It is I, Kikoski, welcoming you to the stream. The pre-stream, to be exact, where you have the opportunity to get here, get comfortable, and get ready for some more of the terrible disaster that is Paper Cup, the Fortress of Dwarf. How are you all today? I hope you are doing well. Hello there, Specialist. I see Cav there as well. His message didn't appear in the chat window, but it's but he's here. Mayhem. He's and there is not a rogue here either with 39 months and a 38 month streak. Drink squash every day. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you ever so much. Hello Ziggy Zap. Hello Ada. Hello Derpy. Hope you're all doing good. Let me quickly get that uh, that thing away. I've learned how to get it away now. It is gone. <sighs> How many dwarves will need to be replaced? More than four, less than four, but more than two? So you're saying three. It might be more than three. Today has been an interesting day. Preparations for that holiday that I ended up pla <laughs> I like how every time I start a stream, it's like, here's all the corpses. Like, there's a lot they of corpses, and there's clear skies there, with 34 months and 33 months streak. Hey, been a minute, but hoping streams continue to go well for you. They do, thank you. They absolutely do. They really do. That's a lot of bones. Yeah, we've been killing a lot of rat people. Like, a lot of rat people have been dying. Moved to new home, so been away. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hope you've all been well. Um, so we want a workshop, a farming one. We want hives. Oh, we have a lot of these. Hello, Saprook. I hope you are doing well this day. That's a really good one. We're going to keep that one. Mayhem! And Clear Sky's just suddenly just gifting 10 subs. That is ridiculously kind of you. Thank you. That puts us up to... Wow, that puts us pretty close to that, uh... That milestone of 300. Pretty close. You know, I want to get some more blocks here, I think. But thank you. That is so absurdly kind of you. Hey, been missing out my support. I, that, that is greatly appreciated. It is, it is really appreciated. So, today has been, as I said, a, a pretty good day. Got to, uh, got to watch a movie. It's a, it's a pretty good movie. Quite enjoyed that. You might do the construction of certain goods, but they're all. You suspend the construction of walls. Yeah, you you should you should build that. You should build that wall. The wall with with the burning everything. It, it seems kind of important that there's a, there's a burning everything that we should deal with. Seems kind of important. But yep, yeah, watch the movie. Movie is good. We're now 38 Twitch sub points away from getting to 300 in those Action 52 playthroughs. Indeed. Indeed. That would be pretty good. So we can finally have, you know, archers do archery things. That'd be kind of cool. Because we do have a couple of bones. We do have a lot of bones. Do I have a thing for bone bolts? Uh, copper bolts. We need some bone bolts. Just, just make some bone bolts. That'll probably do for the moment. But yeah, it, it's been good. I get to chill now for a little bit. In the pre-stream, before we hang out and talk. Do you would like the fact that there are 70 bajillion dogs here? Ooh. 
He felt satisfied when a family member received justice through a criminal's conviction. That puppy was really pleased. I get to hang out and talk before we hang out and talk. I mean, always. So if anyone remembers, we, we had that minor problem. And it was a bit of a minor issue, you know, just a small issue, because we started exploring around here again. And then that happened. The, uh, the, the fire ghost. Got unleashed here, and, uh, yeah, we can't explore this area now at all. It's not safe. Th this guy will, will kill everything. So instead, we are going back to this area. Which realistically, we need a lever like here. So we really need to make a bridge here. Just in case bad stuff happens. Has it cooled off? We're going... Yeah, it has cooled off. Thank you. It, it absolutely has cooled off. Are you saying there are safe areas on this level? There are safe areas everywhere in my fortress. There are safer areas in my fortress, it, that, that is for sure. There are absolutely safer places. Hello, Sean Beef, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna make a couple more mechanisms out of... Uh, Dolomite. We don't have a lot of it, so we've got to be careful with it. Hello, Shield of Hope. So yeah, we also dealt with a couple of the animals that we have. We still have a lot of animals, but we don't have as many animals as we used to have. About to almost... No. No. What do you mean, meat shields? They're all valued they members of my community. Baby. Also, Tiny Train there with Prime Gaming and 44 months. Thank you ever so much. That is so kind of you. Also, remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, which means you have a Prime sub that you can spend on anyone you like. You can even spend it on me! Give me Jeff Bezos money! I I'm good for it. Also, we should set a low priority to smooth all of this area here. See, all that smoothed. We should also smooth all of this, and all of that, and all of this, and some of that, some of this, and that, right here. Just, just you know, to make the area a little bit nicer, you know? Just thinking about the future, you know. Thinking about getting everything super fancy. We should also absolutely engrave everything here. Because we've engraved everything else. Ooh, we could also smooth out all of this floor too. Ooh, that's a project. That's a project, smoothing out all of this. Actually, for weather this past week locally here, been nice. Yeah, it, it's nice to have things a bit more expected, as it were. Smooth out all this, and all that. It'll keep people busy. We like to keep people busy here in this fortress. We also like to trade with the elves. Man, Very peacefully, I might add. And that there is Zerbit. Eight months. Thank you ever so much. Hoi, Kiko and chat. Dwarf in them fortresses. That I am. That I am. But also remember, if I have some Prime, you have Twitch Prime. If you have any Prime subs, you, you, you can give them to me. I'll spend them well. I definitely won't buy luxuries. I might buy luxuries. 
Or I might buy food. Is food a luxury these days? I don't know. The cat was blissful after having a bath. There are so many bones. So many bones. And so many dead rats. Look at all of these dead rat people. All of them. They are so dead. All of them are dead. Hang on, what shields haven't I... Haven't I done anything with? I think we're good there. At least they're not screaming. This is true. At least they are not screaming. We should absolutely set a trap here. Apparently there already is a building present. Oh, there is. There is actually a building present. So, yeah. Nobody's in here right now. Considering that we have 193 people, the fact that there are only 22 people that are a bit upset, admittedly, that number is getting bigger, I've noticed. We had a point where it was like only 13. Now it's 22. Well, I'm, I'm sure things are going fine. No, nothing bad's gonna happen. We're gonna unleash some like horrendous monster and it's gonna kill us all, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. That is probably gonna happen. Am I still alive? If so, I repeat. <laughs> Uh, is Demon Dragon still alive? I mean, I remember you fought lots of terrible things last time. Uh, yeah, you're still alive. Somehow. Wow, you are still alive. That that's an accomplishment. Look at look at that. <laughs> Hang on by a thread. Your status is trouble breathing. But you're still going. You know who else is still alive somehow, despite everything? Hammy. Hammy is still alive. They're a high master planter, a talented diagnostician. Do you recall something about, yeah, you fought an enemy barehanded and beat them up, which was a massive accomplishment. Like, it was pretty spectacular. So today, the general plan is we don't want the fort to burn up in flames. It might, in fact, burn up in flames at some point. This could happen. Dwarven wrestling is serious business. It is! It is absolutely serious business. Completely. This peasant is an accomplished wound dresser. And an accomplished sutra. Huh. They have a fair few skills. So yeah, this is the level that we don't mess with. This is a level that we don't mess with because I'm pretty sure there are a couple of forgotten beasts roaming around. Okay, I can't see them, but I think there are some forgotten beasts roaming around. There are also some caged prisoners. We just have, like, some some caged... caged rat people that we're just keeping in cages. Just a thing we're doing. Also, we still have all of the the uh, problems that are here. And I remind you, when the people who wanted me... Hello, Kev. Yeah, indeed. The people who wanted me to go after all of these... 
This fire ghost, by the way, felt lonely after being unable to make romance for so long. I'm boring them. I am boring the horrendous monsters. They are too bored. Like, that one is, is, is bored. That one is... <laughs> they were accepting remembering choking on smoke underground. Is Grimby still around? Uh... There's Grumpy. Grimby, there, yeah, there you are. You are healthy. And interested in remembering learning about kicking. You are, by the way, a legendary Swords Dwarf. You're actually really, really good. How is Saddest Duck doing? Probably being sad. Oh no, they're quite happy! You feel so good! Apparently you're a competent Axe Dwarf. Ha! Huh. Hmm, not bad. Keep that in mind. If we ever need an Axe Dwarf, we've got one. We also have this archery range that we are trying to do stuff with. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with it, but I have bolts that are going to be put there. Most dwarfs in the fortress seem happy. That's because I generally run a very happy fortress. People keep busy, there's tons of food, there's loads of ale, and loads of places to pray, and... Generally a, a, a good time all round. It's a good time all round. Everyone is extremely happy. It's just a, a happy time. They're like, I need a decent study. Well, that's nice. I don't care that you need a, be a decent study. Like, you don't live here, so I don't provide anything for you. Yeah, funnily enough, if you care about people, they become happy. I know this is a, a, a revolutionary thought. Also, there is a little bit of awful there. Just a bit. We really should actually be mining over here. So let's actually clear this out. Let's not do that. Let's clear here first. Like mine here. Like here, and we'll see how awful things get as of, as eventually everyone horrendously dies. We have no special like trinkets to pick up. There's the the permanent fires of woe here. Now you should be telling me you're not treating your XCOM so funnily enough. If you remember my streams of XCOM games, yeah, I didn't treat my XCOM soldiers like expendable utilities, and they all got better and extremely skilled and capable. Almost like... Hey, I tried to keep them alive, okay? I tried. Efforts were made. Like, the list of casualties in that playthrough was remarkably small. I don't know how you finish uh, XCOM without keeping soldiers. Uh, practice. Practice picking your targets and vehicles. Vehicles are amazing for keeping your soldiers alive, as they can drive out... Uh, and deal with the initial wave of fire. Like, they can draw all of the fire. Yeah, they, they soak up some experience, but... Rookies get better by doing stuff. 
Are we on lockdown on a... No, we're not. Flanking cover, not sending your soldiers blindly into open spaces. Yeah, exactly. That That's how you keep them alive. I think in that instance, that was that I kind of had to do it. It was a very rare scenario. Most of the time, I was really, really good at keeping my soldiers alive. But occasionally, I just had to go, I have to do this. They have forgotten a demand. He's like, I wanted to make something. N now, now I, I don't. I've given up now. Does that make him mad? Oh, we'll see if that has made him mad. Uh, no, no, he, he, he's just forgotten it. Affection after interacting with a pet. That's neat. So, are we actually mining this area out? Or are you all digging out? Is this all one? Yeah, this is all one, isn't it? Yeah, you just focus on doing that. Check the clip. I believe it popped up, but there was an obstacle. And you thought, yeah, I thought it meant a fence. Yep. And then paper cup has died. Yeah, it wasn't act... Fair enough, then. It wasn't intentional. The peasant has been stung by a honeybee. Vehicles are absolutely worth it, especially when you get the better vehicles. They're amazing. Why can't you access this? You should be able to access it. Yeah, I never intentionally sent them to their doom. Sometimes bad luck just happens. So, why can't you get to it? Hmm. Why can't you get to that? curious point. Why can't you reach that? You should be able to reach it. Unless I have something blocking the way. Do I have something blocking the way? That's open. That's open. That's open. That's... No, I have no idea what's blocking the way. I don't know why you can't get to that. <sighs> so, guys, I caught your dwarf, uh, dwarf stream again. Admittedly, I've only been in campus. Let's close due to fluke. Time to dig the great well. Doom. There's a lot of doom. So let's let's just make these out of light blocks. So there's a block there. A block here, a block there. Do that. Also, Edna has demanded we make cages. Because, of course. It's alright, we, we've got ways to do this, Edna. This is when we find out people can't access this area, and I'm like, why? Why can you not access this area? Because someone managed to access this area. Someone did manage it. Hang on. You're the pump operator. And all you're wearing... 
is that. Hmm. How much wool do we have right now? Not as much as I'd like. What about silk? Ha! We have a lot of silk. I feel like we might actually want to start spinning thread into cloth. Because we don't have a lot of cloth anymore. We also need to deal with the strands, don't we? We should be okay for the moment. Like, how are we doing on clothes? Like, you have clothes. Maybe that guy just likes not wearing clothes? I don't know. How, how are we doing with, with this? Yeah, there's no tasks. Apparently we're fine. Like, no tasks are required. So what's this? Item inaccessible. Can you not get access to that? Oh! This apparently is not part of the Royal Burrow. Ha! Huh. Well, now it is! Also, it's summer! You missed Doom? You, you did. You did. Doom was Wednesday. If they have wool, the humans, we really want it. We really want to trade for all their wool. But it's okay, we have tons of crowns we can give them. Like, all of the crowns. We've been busy this year. Forging the finest swords and weapons. But we're going to give them all of our crowns first. Like, this is an essential thing. Crowns must be dispensed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I I see that um Ah. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Yeah, I I saw Clouth. Let me sort that out right now. Unless that Hang on, no, I don't think that actually needs to be done. I think that's actually sorting itself out. Well, thank you very much. That is absurdly kind of you. Thank you. Clouth has gifted me a thing through Throne again. Clouth does this. Clouth does it. Clouth is, like, exceptionally generous. They are, like, the most generous person. It is ridiculous how generous they are. Also, these are inactive. That's fine. How's this doing? It's... that's fine too. Oh no! So, so no, no, nothing bad! No, nothing bad. I'm actually going to get you all on, like, lower priority. I want to make this lower priority. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I want to make this lower priority. Make all this lower priority too. 
that way, we can get them to the really important mining. The really, really important mining. The, the dangerous, deadly mining. Here. I realize now that I'm sending every single one of my miners over there. I'm sure this will be fine. Nothing bad will happen. There's the Forgotten Beast, by the way. Hello, Dark Jade. I hope you are doing well. What problems am I dealing with? Oh, the usual. The possibility of lava, death, horrible monsters. What's the worst that could happen? A lot. In fact, I feel like uh, you lot should probably station here just in case. Just in case. At least we haven't found anything made of steel. Any more deadly monsters? Eh, this is just the, the one made of horrendous fire in one part of our caves. It's not a bad idea, Ataranik. Hello, Daffy. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I also put up a little status update on Patreon. If you're pledged to me on Patreon, you have access to it. Just a little update as to how life's going and the various things I've been doing. I also finished a Warhammer model of Brother Cavicus. It's a fine marine. Oh, here they are. Alright, I'm ready to pause. Okay. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Everything apparently is fine. Oh. Everything is not fine. So everyone else escaped. No, 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 don't mind that. Um, no, 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 do not mind this. So that is, um, Big McLarge Huge that is on fire. They, they in fact have melted. There is no longer a Big McLarge Huge. He might have melted. I mean, I suppose now I can mine this area relatively safely. So how many slabs do I have lying around? I've got a couple of slabs, but we might want to make a couple more rock slabs. Fire has claimed... Yeah, I actually would say... Mm, fire is starting to claim a, a lot of... I mean, we did find some green diamonds. And that's kind of cool. And the iron pick is, is still ready to be used. But we did lose a miner. We only have three now. So, um, congratulations on your promotion. Crotey Robo. You're not part of my, like, you know, are you? No, no, you're not. Crotey Robo... You're now a miner. Don't ask what happened to the last person. Please don't ask what happened to the last person. They are... a little dead. J just a little dead. Yeah, just, just, just a smidgen dead. On a scale of one to dead... What happened to the last person? And who was that? It was uh, Big Mc Large Huge. They might have died. Good news is, we are now doing a fantastic job of walling off this area. 
Serve Dwarven Wine! Wait, the Tavern Keeper has to go serve Dwarven Wine. Canis Rufus is stumbling around blind. Oh no. Oh, wait. You're actually getting better though. You're getting better. Your mood is actually improving. Canis Rufus, you are not super unhappy. You were angry dwelling upon getting in an argument. You were angry dwelling upon getting in an argument. That is why you are unhappy. I came late to a disaster. You came late to someone setting on fire. And a captain of the guard. Which captain of the guard are you? You're not a captain of this guard. You're a captain of the last rocks. Okay, so you're not super dangerous. Also, they won't build this area. Why won't you build this area? I'm very curious. Yeah, item blocking. Well, then move the item. In fact, you know what? If we make it out of pitch blend, all right. So if we if we do the wall, we make it out of what is this block? It is a pitch blend block. Okay. So pause, cancel, build a wall out of a pitch blend block. Uh, we, I'm really trying to make it so that you don't, like, perish. I'm really trying... Oh, no, you're actually really good. I'm like, you're actually one of my legendary sword dwarfs. Okay, so you're... You're going to construct a building. Okay, you're going to take that. And... Don't stumble into that. Okay. We have now sealed off this area. The fire is gone. You know, once you're done stumbling around aimlessly, I have a plan for you. And that plan is, is we're going to see how you do against the, the fire. We're going to see if you can slay the fire beast. Once you're done stumbling and bumbling... That's my plan, Canis. We're going to see if you can do it. I highly hope you can do it. You probably can't do it. Do you have any artifacts on you? Not really. Okay, you done, you done bumbling. You're done bumbling. Okay. So I need Canis to station... Here. Just Canis. Do I assign him to a, a thing? That's true, but I don't think that's the problem. Like, he's, he's not a really desperate undet me, unmet need. Oh, yeah, you, you guys don't need to be here anymore. You can, uh, cancel that order. So alright, maybe he'll he'll emerge victorious and he'll he'll save the day. I really hope he does that. Because he's exceptionally well equipped and he'll be armed with like the finest equipment. He should be able to do this. It's only one fire beast. 
All he needs to do is land one hit. Also, there is some rotten Drathla tripe stew there. I really want this adamantine. Like, I really, really want it. So what's Canis doing? Canis is probably grabbing his equipment. Yeah, he's, he's grabbing his gear. Canis is grabbing his shield, and he's grabbing his sword, and he's gonna go fight. What is your overview? One could always, should always respect the law. It's very important. So good news, we managed to, you know, clear out a little bit of area, and we're recovering all the... Ah, Big McLodge Huge has been missing. So we shall now engrave a slab to Big McLodge Huge. Like, right now. Yeah, he's been a bit dead for a while. And by a bit dead, I mean very dead. On a scale of one to dead, dead is high. It's very, very high. Also, no thanks. See, so yeah, our plan is if we can slay this beast, we can go back to clearing out this area. Two less extremely angry people compared to the start of the stream. That's true. We do have two less angry people. This isn't how I wanted to get rid of my angry people. So you know. I, I kind of didn't want them to get super, super mad. But I've only managed to prevent that from happening with, like, extremely um, small fortresses. So what are you grabbing? I hope one of the things you are grabbing is your weapon. Because right now you have no weapon. Good. I was a little concerned. He has also been crying. Please grab your sword. Which sword are you grabbing, sir? You're grabbing... Ah! Your, your special sword. Ag Simbo. Who is Ag Simbo? Oh, you're just a poet. No thanks. Fine meals have been prepared. So, so we're following our, our our buddy here. We want to see what adventures he gets on. I just kind of want him to actually get to the place and fight the monster. This is my hope. Hey, buddy. Like, I don't want to lose dwarfs. Like, I want to gain viewers, though, and there's a way to gain viewers. There's Old Dragon with a party of 28. Hello, how are you doing? He bringeth the ham and he bringeth the raid. Sometimes he brings pickles. He's been playing Final Fantasy V and avoiding the, uh, the Skull Eaters. Not eating squirrels are fine. Thank you for the ham, good sir. But but the other squirrels, yeah, avoid those ones. Avoid them. Well, there's one of the horrible monstrosities from beyond the veil of everything. Save. That is a good plan. Just started FF5. Excellent. I hope you're enjoying it. It's certainly an odd entry. It's like, 4 is a pretty standard Final Fantasy, 6 is the one where they really, like, experiment with things successfully, and then there's 5. 5 is like, we're, we're trying, and we have a really cool villain that I'm not going to spoil for people who uh, don't want to be spoiled about Final Fantasy 5. But, uh... 
it's an interesting entry. And now, we continue to follow Canis. Passing the dead body of that horrendous forgotten beast. This is the downside, by the way, of not going, like, immediately down to the third level to... How goes fortressing? Goes pretty well, thank you. We lost someone to lava, and we might be about to lose someone to a fire monster. Alright, here you go. Alright, Canis. Where are you going? You're going to sleep. Okay. You're going to sleep. That's, that's a plan. Um, okay, so let's link this lever. Oh, no, no, we, we want... Hang on. Let's lock off all of the non-dolomite mechanisms. That'll probably help. No, still microcline. So if I do that, now... It, it, yeah. Got a link. Still claims... Huh. Well... Oh! I didn't scroll down. That's my bad. That is, as they would say, my whoops. So if we link this one to there. Now I can unlink all these mechanisms. Lava without multiple bars is super scary. Yeah. Lava is indeed a scary thing. All turned into Kiko somehow. Old has been the Kiko all along. You just didn't know it. We are not so... We are, we are not so unlike... They and I. Ah! A human caravan is here. You were unable to complete this weapon trap. Oh, yeah. Because of... Silly. Hang on. Because I... I... Broke all the weapon stuff, it's fine. We'll get a new trap. We'll also put some new... Things in here. Like these copper spears. There were other weapon traps we couldn't finish, either. Well, humans are here, so we need to start thinking about setting up some goods. Now, we do want to put our finished goods in here, and we, we still kind of want our weapon bins there, just in case, but I think our finished goods will probably suffice. They are going to be bringing a lot of stuff, though. That's got 29,000 in it. We have been busy. Oh, we have been busy. This fortress has ticked over. Ticked over many a good. Armor bin might be a choice. No, we could put the armor bin in there, I suppose. 
There are a couple of them. Let's actually go down to the bottom. Hope they're Humans tend not to bring super exotic pets, so... I don't think we're going to get what we want there. Also, there's Limpy Kabra If you're interested. Wow, have you seen some of these bins? But they might. It depends on what's in the area with them. Sometimes they bring exotic stuff. Somehow I thought they were elves. Common mistake to make. Because traders... Traders are traders. Usually it doesn't matter who they are. These are the ones that we can trade anything to, though. You know, honestly... This will suffice. We'll trade them all of that. So they're going to trade in 59 boxes. And it is going to take them a long time to get to where they need to be. Meanwhile, is my dwarf there? Canis is still asleep. He's a sleepy guy. At least he's happy about that. He's very happy about lots of things. Sorry. Just generally refer to, to dwarves by the name of the uh, person rather than the, uh, the dwarf themselves. I'm also paying more attention to all of the things that they're apparently really happy about. They're not going to be happy about being on fire very soon, though. I feel like that's going to be a bad development in their life. It's going to be a very bad development. So. You're still sleeping. They sleep for a very, very, very long time. Dorfless has been re-elected, by the way. Rejoice, Dorfless, for once more, you are... you are the mayor. I don't think Dorfless has never not been the mayor. They are astronomically popular. This is Kiko. Things are bound to be on fire eventually. No! Maybe. Okay. Canis is now going... The station. Over there. Okay, you're going to station over there. And just in case, we're going to pull this lever. I'm not saying things are going to go really badly wrong, but just in case they go really badly wrong, We've got a fallback situation. Okay. So all I'm going to do is we're going to unbar this. And then we're going to tell you specifically to go down here. Okay. Now... Now we have you... Attack this. Oh dear. No, no, you're not escaping. Fight! Oh, oh, oh! There's a fight going on here! Battle is happening! However... I don't actually think we're causing any harm here. No. Do we harm it at all? No. 
No, we literally caused Mayhem. Yippee. no harm whatsoever. And there's Thrithland, 47 months, thank you ever so much. Hey, I'm popping in before I head out for dentist the boy will well have fun. I mean, there's not a lot of fun to be had, but try and have fun. Also, please kill this Olm before it kills my person. So, we didn't cause any damage whatsoever. Who found them dead? Okay, genuine question, who found them dead? One question, who did you tell me? By the way, totally killed that guy. Secondly, say hi to a magma man. There's a magma man here. Just, just being a magma man. Magma moving in the shape of a man. It has a cracked black crust. It is quite quick to heal. Time to figure out their personality. It has great creativity. It is sloppy with its living space. It is not careful with resources when working on projects and often spends unnecessary effort. It is very rarely moved by curiosity. It is very greedy. It is brave in the face of imminent danger. It isn't given to flights of fancy. It is moved by art and natural beauty. It rarely feels discouraged. It doesn't seek out excitement. It tends to be passive in discussions. It is quite polite. It is somewhat quarrelsome. It tends not to reveal personal information. There you go. We, we, we have now learnt about the Magma Man. You got really badly killed. Like, really badly killed. What a polite man. I know, just the most polite magma man. Was this lever pulled? No, it actually wasn't, so cancel that. It was not pulled. So don't pull that. Yeah, so we can't deal with that horrendous monster of doomy doom. Like, it's, it's a problem, for sure. Also, you are now... Oh, we don't have a leader. Um... I mean... Uh, who would be good as a leader? Um, is Stumpy good? No. Stumpy's awful. Let's order them by their profession. We want the peasants. Imposter Syndrome? Ooh! Imposter Syndrome could be the member of this. Where's Imposter Syndrome? Need to find them now. Oh, I'm not going to find them at all, am I? Of course Imposter Syndrome would, would hide. Ignore the sounds of death. I wish I could organize this alphabetically. I have probably scrolled past imposter syndrome. I've absolutely scrolled past imposter syndrome. Unless they actually have skills. Oh, there they are. Uh, no, no, no. That is not your task. Cancel that. That is not your task. Also, we want to... We want to engrave a memorial for Canis Rufus. Because, uh, yeah. Bit dead. We are not going to be going down there to collect that corpse.
Okay, Magma Man, what is your name? Where do you live? My name is of no importance, and I live in a pipe in your water closet. <laughs> okay, you still finding that Ulm? Yeah, you are you are tired and fighting the Ulm. The Ulm is tired. C can you stop fighting the Ulm, please? There's someone's blood here. Is that your blood? Nope, the Ulm is seriously injured. Copper statue has been made, by the way. That might be your statue, demon. Shall we check? Yep, that's your statue. What's the monster made out of? Fire. It is made out of fire. That's the problem. It being made out of fire means that ideally ranged weaponry needs to be used against it. But, uh, yeah. Oh good, I told you not to have a box. Yeah, I said no boxes. You shoot them. The problem is we really don't have anyone good at shooting them. So for now, that thing is just gonna be a problem. Are you hauling boxes? You are hauling boxes. Okay, the all oh, this wrestler is just like I'm gonna I'm gonna beat up this yeah, nauseous, bleeding. You were on your way to deal with this, and now you're just gonna. Get this all. Yeah, you're. Are you even armed with anything? No, you, you haven't even brought your weapon. Meanwhile, they, they killed the Alm, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we're gonna send you over. Okay, that weapon trap is not a thing anymore. Oh, quite a few of these were not finished, apparently. Oh, there we go. I don't know why only those ones are available. Anyway. Are we ready to trade? We are ready to trade. Well. Let's get some trading going. Some fancy trading. Excellent. Hopefully you've got some nice- Hopefully you have some more dwarfs for me, because I've lost a couple of dwarfs already. Mainly due to lo- Actually, both of the deaths today have been due to fire. They've both been due to fire. Maybe one day I'll have a, uh... We'll do a stream with a map that's absolutely tiny. Right. What do you have for me? I mean, you have cut gems, we always take your cut gems. Blocks we're not bothered about, rough gems we'll also take. Stone, no. Chains, no. Flasks, eh, you've got a couple of really cheap ones. Fancy instruments, we, we, we like them at the very least. Um, cages, you brought a, a sparrow. You brought two sparrows. I don't think there is, no. We're going to take your spirits and your wine and your whiskey and your millet beer. More wine, more beer, 
more wine? I'm gonna take all of your wine. Not gonna take that, though. It's a bit expensive. Um, I don't really want any of this. Unless you have any good maces. Do you have any good maces? No. Clothes are completely useless for us. Really useless. That's useless. Don't think I want any of that. Did you bring any wool? You didn't bring any wool, did you? You brought fish. I'm gonna bring the fit by the fish. We don't have much fish. I'll buy the plants because they're cheapish. Why not? Thread. Okay, you have a ton of thread. You didn't bring any wool, though. You brought a ton of weapons, though. I mean, I guess I'll buy the weapons. Books? Did you bring books? You brought books. It must have been trust. Two copies of that. Alright, now we gotta trade with them. I mean, I suppose the first thing I can trade with you is... All of these... Helmets. Basically, or hats, rather. That one's a thousand odd. Would you like my crowns? I have a lot of... That's a thousand, too. I have a lot of crowns. This is when we do the entire trade with naught but crowns. Oh, yeah, that's a 1,719 value. Okay, that's a 3,000 value crown. This might be over quickly. I might trade for more stuff. Probably show you a few of these shields. Um, what else can we trade away? Oh, more crowns! <laughs> Heard you like crowns. That's two thousand. Okay, we need to trade for more stuff, clearly. How about I trade for all of your bars and all the musical instruments? And I'm still probably gonna fill this in really quickly. Yep, this crown here, 500. This is really not going to take that long. That's 3,000 for that crutch. That would just immediately... You know, we're going to trade you that crutch. What else can I buy? What else do I want? Really, what else do I want from you? I mean, I could buy all your cheese. I will buy all of your cheese. That is a worthwhile trade. Um, anything else? No? Buy your random blocks, I guess? Saves me making a few blocks. Honestly, I'm gonna start taking away... Oh. Nope, that is literally the break-off point, so we shall make a trade. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you for your business. No problem. No problem. I will take all my bins back, please. That was exceptionally quick. That being said... 
I'm a little concerned about the lack of thread and fabric that we have. But I'm sure we'll be fine. That was a really quick trading session. Like, it's not normally that quick. To, what, like 10 minutes? It's really quick, by the way, when you have a super small fortress. Because if you don't ever become a barony, they they just turn up with their little wagon and it's all fine. And you just trade for a couple small things and then you're good. Like five minute trades. Your little fortress run, the fortress runs perfectly smoothly. Ten people, maybe twelve if you have like a pair of warriors. Or really you don't need an army with a... With a thing that big. All you need is just like a small militia. So, done! Trading complete. Um, I suppose we should carry on mining out the really nice, valuable riches. So now, if we go to weapon traps. We got a lot of awesome little things that we can stick in here. Like all that. And I suppose that and that and a couple of these. Any other little holes we need to fill in? No, actually. I think we are good. We're finally good. Okay. With that, we can focus on the terrible part, which is mining here. I'll be very sad if we lose all of our miners to, like, more lava, because we've already dealt with lava once. At least I dealt with all of the collection of the riches first. We don't have any... We have you that's ready. We could get you stationed here. Actually, no, have you stationed here? Just in case. By the way, our food surplus is now 10,649. We got a lot of food. Mostly meat. We could literally stop food production and be done, be good for years. Do you have a setting for mop mining hot walls? Um, it won't automatically mine hot walls. You have to order them again. Uh, Cloud. By default, when you a miner reaches hot walls, they'll stop, and then you have to order them again to mine it. The same with damp walls. So there are absolutely loads and loads of... We're gonna make more bone bolts. In fact, let's make a hundred bone bolts. We have enough bones. Hello Forgotten Beast, how you doing? Ah, I'm just doing fine, thank you. I'm just uh, chilling around in my, my bellies, doing... Doing the things, making the stuff. You can make a couple more totems, I think. You know what? Make a hundred totems. Just, just make a hundred totems. Got enough skulls. Oh, here come our miners. Please no horrendous lava. Okay, just riches. I... I like that. Just riches. Cool! Just got some rough green diamonds and some rough yellow diamonds. This is nice. 
I like that. That's good. Police station here. So long, clear skies. So we should probably order a little bit more, you know, mining here. Did you did finish the book? It was great. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. There's an area on the Discord, by the way, uh, with various spoiler tags that you can use to discuss the book, if you like. Now, who wants to bet awful things are going to be, uh, happening when we open this up. Oh, ready to pause. Ah, just water. Okay, we're not so bothered about water. Water is fine. of obsidian. That's a lot of water, but it's okay. We, we can deal with water. Water is fine. Genuinely, water is fine. Like, you don't need to be here right now. Water is fine. See? It's just spilling out into here. Water's wonderful. The Forgotten Beast F.I. Rithessa Near has come. An enormous scaly frog. It has a short horn and it belches and croaks. Its rose scales are small and overlapping. Beware! It's poisonous gas. Oh! You're here. Ah. Huh. How quickly do you move? You move relatively fast. Oh dear! And it has poisonous gas, so we do not know what's going to happen as a consequence of that poisonous gas. It could do anything. It could befuddle my people, it could make them erupt into blisters, their skin could fall off, or they could just suffocate and die. So it's time to send out my hammerers and see how they do. Mmm. This is a bit bad. It's gonna be a matter of time before something really nasty turned up. Okay, everyone else, you're assigned to the, to the Oh No Burrow. Everyone is. Where are my hammers? Ah, they're quite a ways away, aren't they? Um, yes, they are. So pull this lever right now. Pull this lever right now. This is some unfortunate timing. Pull them.
Oh no, Magnus. Where, where'd the beast go? Where did the beast go? No, really, where'd the beast go? Home? No, I don't know where it went. Also, we have a strange mood. Um. You're terrified while in conflict. Conflict with what? There it is! Why aren't these being pulled? Okay, that one's been pulled. Okay, that one's locked off. Okay, I think that one will be rising too. Oh, it a better rise. Pull this one as- oh no! Where are you guys? You are way too far away. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, who, who's that you're fighting? It's YOLO! Okay, YOLO, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Bites of rock, get in there! Oh, you, you're causing a big distraction here. Okay. Okay, YOLO is sealed off fighting it alone. Okay. For Frondo! He's stunned. Okay, it's... How are you doing health-wise? Okay, they're here. They're here. Alright. Pull the lever! It's winded. He's healthy. Oh my word, are you are you killing it? You're not needed anymore. YOLO, you champion! Oh my word! Heavy b- Oh my word! You decided to start stealing lives instead of goods! You're not wrong! Wow! Well, I guess... I guess the panic is over then! Everything's good! How were you doing that? Alright. There are- there are seven YOLOs here right now! There are seven YOLOs! <laughs> oh, now there are only three! <laughs> They're multiplying! I- I wish I had an entire squad. He killed a f he basically held up a forgotten beast for long enough by himself that the hammerers were able to turn up and kill it. Dwarf White and the Seven YOLOs. So basically, we'll scroll down. 
so the stray cat gets pummeled and then the militia captain turns up this is yolo so the militia captain turns up maybe but i don't think it had its opportunity to really do its gas it only did its gas on yolo so the beast then charges up and just the British Captain talked over, misses, and the British Captain just like punches him, and then punches him, and then punches him. Boiling extract, charges and collides with him. The militia captain scratches him, like, then scratches him again. The force pulls the rear leg. Bites him? And then punches again. They misses and misses and misses. Punches him again. Pulls the neck. So basically he just went absolutely ham on him. Like completely ham. That's when we found the dead cat. The force then pulls the the ri Yolo is a monster. Look at this. Just single-handedly fought this guy. The forgotten bees kicks him. He doesn't do anything. He just bruises. Charges, jumps out the way, misses, misses. Mr. Captain bites them and then latches on firmly. Yolo was the real Forgotten Beast. Yeah. That, absolutely. Like, he just keeps going and going and... And then he just keeps punching and punching and... Punching and... He did not let up for that entire fight. That was... That was legendary. Give me one moment, I'll be right back. We're gonna make a statue out of that. Right, I'm back. I think what that gas was, is I think it was a stun gas. I think what it was, was a stun gas. Because Yolo was temporarily stunned. So this is... Iffy... Or Fi Tape. Right. I'm gonna make this out of silver. That is not the thing I want. Hang on. Uh, so, new image. Yeah, that's the one. So, do YOLO steal the avatar's stats? I don't know. Note to self, never mock YOLO again. Wait, what do I mean again? That implies I mocked him before. Please don't break my teeth, YOLO. Actual relationship. Uh...
This is Yolo from Runes of Virtue 2. Yolo is striking down this horrendous creature. The creature is in a fetal position. The creature is confused. The creature is screaming. I think that's pretty suitable. <laughs> this YOLO wouldn't have been corrupted by some silly column. I'm not sure if biting is actually a um, an option, sadly. You cannot put biting. I wish you could. Hang on, there is fighting with. Hang on. Gotta delete some elements here. There is actually fighting with. YOLO is fighting with the Forgotten Beast. YOLO is laughing. There you go. This is curled up in the fetal position and is confused and is screaming. There we go. We did it. We did it. The problem solved. The, the creature is dead. Resume construction, please. It's all good. Everything's back the way it should be. Now, how are the... Hey, you bestowed the name Istrath Zuntia upon your silver hammer. That seems like a good thing. So, adamantine wafers. 29 thread. So, how many more thread do we have to deal with? Suppose now you just made like. 29 wafers. That was a fantastic bit of bit of awesome. So you've currently got nothing, but you're you're gonna claim some stuff. Don't worry. I played with my pet. I that might be of action, I feel. <laughs> it's it's not that alien of a concept, Harvey. Why not thirty? Because we don't have thirty. We have 29. So, no one is appearing in the hospital. This commands the wise verb is slightly going to be a bar to absolute face racker. I mean, yeah. Like, absolute 110% face racker. I'm just keeping an eye on here in case something happens. Hi, oh, here's a cat. What are these emotions I'm experiencing for the first time ever? So yeah, remember when YOLO was the only survivor of the Spear Squad? Because... He was not there when it happened? So now he's the hero of the Spear Squad because he wrestled a Forgotten Beast into submission. There's some green glass. That, by the way, is why we always do green glass. YOLO is the Spear Squad. I like it. it just is the Spear Squad. So how's this going? Yep, that's all just... Ooh. 
There's lava there! Huh. Well, we know that we can now safely mine that. There's the Forgotten Beast just roaming around. This is... this is a Dwarf Fortress. This is Dwarf Fortress. You just missed an amazing fight. Curiosity, if there's some way to channel the water into the fire ghost, would that hurt it? Maybe. We don't have any right now, but it might hurt it. I'm nowhere near skilled enough in this game to be able to do something like that, though. I'm nowhere near skilled enough. You <laughs> spear squabble to slide your fate. I am the spear squad. You, you, you wasn't wrong. Like Yolo was the spear squad. They weren't even armed with a spear. Still defeated them. It was glorious and terrifying. Did I mention how terrifying it was? How to invent a squirt gun. By the way, there's my fire that just never will go out ever. Just a fire there. So how's... You have more glass. Not surprising. You're apparently trying to store an item in a bin. Like, a bronze bar and a bin. You're stressed, though. There's not a lot I can do with you. You're crafting items. I'm sure you'll figure it out, buddy. I hope you will. Or all my really, really, really good dwarves are slowly going to go completely mad. So all of my expert dwarves just lose it. So we need to grab all these items. Then we can open this up. Best way to open this up is here. Let them fight the fire beast? Yeah, I think what will just happen is they'll just burn. They might not, but I get the feeling that will just be what happens. They'll just burn. We're not in a desperate rush to kill the fire beast. We got other places we can mine yet. Also, how many bars do we have lying around? Oh. oh. None of your business, the administrator, has been missing for a week. That is a little concerning. Huh. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. Huh. You know what? Slab muck chunk fist in the meantime you get to join the squad. Hmm. That was one of our really good dwarfs. What happened to them? Also, Revendil bestowed a name upon a shield. I'm a little worried about that.
So, are we going to do anything about the Fire Beast? Maybe next Tuesday I can fit it in. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we can, we can fit it in at some point. How many items I need building? No, no, we're good. So that was the terrifying thing that happened this stream. A horrendous monster. Gems have been done. We're filling out these areas. Smooth this out in the meantime. We've got lots of storage area. I mean, look at all this storage area we've got here. Look at all this filling up slowly with ores and rocks. Dwarf Fortress fun! You're not wrong. That is what I intend to do. I also intend to just have, you know, chill out time talking to all of you. Also, good opportunity to remind you that with, with Cloud's exceptional generosity... What's this Cape Crocodile fighting? Oh, it's, uh... It's dead. Yeah, these things are really, really good at just dealing with all of that. But, uh, yeah. Just a reminder, I do have a throne wish list. If people want to give me, like, awesome stuff that I'll get lots of joy from, there's that there. By the way, the beta 10 seems pretty stable. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, uh, doing Blade. I tend to wait until they get released as actual patches. I don't think I've ever done a beta before. But it's nice to see you. Welcome to my fortress! Where my spear dwarf literally just single-handedly stalled a forgotten beast by punching it a lot. It's a strange place that my uh, my dwarves live in. Do a bunch of cages with animals in them? Probably. Any plans of building a minecart system as a project? No. You do make a good point, though. We could do something with. Hmm, that's, that's not a bad idea, actually. I like the way you're thinking. We have rat people. Could I put all the rat people in it? I could put all the rat people in it. I could use the rat people! I have some caged rat people I could use. There's a plan! Come bearing requests for traction benches. Good news, Alias! You won the, le the election again. Once more, you have been elected as the mayor. I don't think you've ever lost the election. The people rejoice once more. Is he ever opposed? I don't know. Maybe? Okay, important statue coming up. This needs to basically go where the fight happened. This amazing quality statue of YOLO. So it's got pigtail cloth. Okay, so we put the rat person there. That's also being mined out so that we can just open this up. Release all the lava. We know there's not any more of it on the next level. Eh, no thanks. We will, however. Do all of this. Yep, 
that's now ready. So I'll probably need to smooth that out as well. Do that there. And we're almost ready to go. I like how you're smoothing, you're engraving it from that side. You just have the ability to engrave it from that side. You're just that good at engraving. That's probably someone asking for an artifact that I'm not going to give them. Interrupted by Cave Bear? A seriously injured Cave Bear, I might add. Soon to be a very dead Cave Bear. Hello, Lanix. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So this is an interesting idea. If I use my rat people as a way to... Hmm. This could work. This could definitely work. Oh, you mandated the construction of something. Quivers! Well, we can make some quivers. We can absolutely make some quivers. We don't want the queen mad. We definitely don't want the queen mad. So yeah, the plan is, is that we get all of the... Oh, you cannot make adamantine wafers. You need strands. Okay, so all we have now... You have strands. have strands. Hmm. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Also, that is a very dead bear. That is a very dead bear. Diamonds now. That's going to be an expensive item. Okay, you're just now mining over there. You freed the lava. So now we can probably quite safely mine those out at some point. How's deploying that cage going? It's still going. Okay. See, if we knew get rid of all these rat people in cages... We could also deploy a second cage. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. We have loads of cages. Not the ones with magpies or sparrows. Um, like this one with a camel in it. We just put loads of animals in there and then just unleash them as well. This is an idea that's so crazy it just might work. I mean, it probably won't work, but it just might. It, it won't. Okay, we need more clothing. We definitely need a loom. And we need a another loom. And we need a second clothes making place. There we go. All's good. You're still not making your thing. No, you've got a cinnabar block and you need something else. I feel well. Good. How is our terrible plan going? It's still going. I really want to be able to recover this corpse if I can. That's a really good item. That's some pretty, like, loads of really good items. Ah, 
the nice quiet where everything is working out. More importantly, this statue is now being deployed. There we go. This is an exceptional silver statue of YOLO. The item is a rendition of the Dish of Labor, an image of YOLO Cloisterblots the Dwarf and in the Wicked. YOLO is fighting with them and laughing and it is in the fetal position, confused and screaming. Ah, oh, Cave Crocodile. Ah. I see. Well, looks like you have something to kill. Fortunately, all of my dwarves, like, psychically know that they are seriously injured. Although they are disgusted while retching on my asthma and delighted remembering watching a performance. A dog is on their way to be like, hi. It's all right. They'll be they'll be fine. They're they're probably not fine. Hopefully they'll get better. Okay, we're still deploying those there. Those were made. Put them in traction! I, I knew that's exactly what you'd say. That's exactly what you'd say. Good news, we're after that, uh, that crocodile. Where'd they go? There they are. Do you think you can escape? Because you can't. And dead. So, vengeance is ours. Um, are people coming to help her? Y yes. Yes, you're being carried. Okay, that is good. You're recovering the wounded. I brought someone to bed, to rest in bed. What a relief! That's good that they get like a positive moodlet for helping out. That's really nice they get a positive moodlet. Okay, you're still grabbing stuff. I don't want you. I want more dwarves to turn up. Okay. Has one of the ca none of the cages have been put there yet? We need an adamantine strap. I'm pretty sure we have those though. Oh, there's only one left. Okay, there's only one left. We have a lot of adamantine. How much adamantine do we have? 65 wafers. We can make some cool stuff out of that. We can make a whole suit of adamantine armor. I'll be able to break into a spire. I want to do it soon. Um, You will indeed succeed. I have no doubt of that. There may be spoiler-tastic things. Oh, look, a, a, a toad. Can we stop having, like, toads appear? Who is it? Oh, it's, it's Magnus again. It's the bard again. Who's hopefully not going to die. But should we wear a full suit of adamantine armor, or will the dwarf who gets to go mad with power? I mean, if I make it Kiko, if I just assign Kiko a bu Whoa! They, like, beelined over there! They beelined over there immediately. They, they just saw that frog and rushed over with a want for destruction, but Magnus is now wounded. These frogs. Frogs are causing more problem for us than anyone else. 
that and the traps sometimes just going off and like slicing people up that's always a problem when that happens um we have some spears that we can Dwarf Kiko, that's we we have a dwarf Kiko. I mean, right here with my with my awesome stuff. Let's have a look at it. There, there's Kikoski, yeah, who has on him some awesome things. How is Kikoski? How is your mood, Kikoski? Are you well? Are you happy? Surprising no one, Kikoski is always happy. Kikoskia wants for nothing. You know what? We're going to make some adamantine gear for Kikoskia. Going to make him an adamantine short sword. Just going to give it to him. Like, this is going to be his badge of office, as it were. Just going to let him have it. I mean, he won't be very good with it. But he'll have it. Okay, how... I keep checking, but how is my... Okay, we have a rat person. So now we assign more rat people. Including this named rat person. Okay, so we sign all those rat people. And then... We... Get this lever here. We link it. To this here. You have begun your mysterious construction. Oh, it has adamantine. Okay, what are you making that has adamantine? Oh, this is going to be expensive. You know, we're just going to start making some stuff out of adamantine. It's completely wasteful. Glass traction beds with adamantine trim, maybe. I'm going to make all of this just to give it to Kokoskia. Yeah? Breastplate, shield, helm. It. Is it a waste? Maybe? Do, do you really want an adamantine traction bench? I don't know if I can actually guarantee that. Well, short sword, breastplate, shield, helm, shirt. We need gloves. Adamantine gauntlets. Actually, we don't need the breastplate. Shield, helm, mail shirt, leggings, high boots. Actually, no, I, I, I changed my mind. I'm giving him the breastplate. The main item will definitely be glass. Well, this is still going to be exceptionally expensive. Uh, we're basically just going to deck out Kokoskia in... There was cheese there briefly. In a full set of adamantine. Because... Okay, we have a queen. But hear me out. The duke has great power in this place. 
on account of them making sure that all of our trading goes well. So we kind of need to protect them. We also probably need to protect Cav. Apparently you're fighting. No, never mind, you got pulped. That was less of a fight and more of a... shredding. Also, there is a shoe here. A great shoe. So now, I suppose, what we can do with our labours is we can now say... Automatically weave thread. Just weave thread. Like, we can make... We can keep chabs on that. Yeah. Do that for a bit. Has a Duke ever run on a platform of traction benches for all or won 20 elections in a row? I mean, the Duke kept our, our fortress thriving and and peaceful for so many years. They're an outstanding example of, of great nobility. Also, there is our lovely, ridiculously expensive thing. Always bet on Kikoskia. I'm sensing some favor- No! I mean, I would favoritism Old Dragon, but I think Old Dragon died. Like, Old Dragon is somewhere in here. I don't remember where. From whom, Old Dragon? From whom? I mean, Alias also has some favoritism. This is true. Alias never claimed not to have favoritism. Also, we're absolutely going to mine this area out in a moment. And have you stationed here. Just in case something awful comes out. Also, why is that locked? Adamantine leggings are dumb. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the nobles and assign you something extremely valuable. Where are those adamantine leggings? There they are. They are yours now. We shall call them... Uh... Um... Theater hour! There you go. This is yours now. Kikoskia, by the way, is probably going to be extremely pleased with that. Hopefully you wear it. That's when he doesn't wear any of this. So I'm, I'm not going to wear these things. Thompson has created a green glass moth? Dash. Also, we have migrants. What did you? You made a musical instrument. Oh, this is a green glass moth dust. Well, we know where this is going because it's made of green glass. All craft swordsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with table cut green diamonds, decorated with giant cave toad leather, and is circled with bands of trillion cut green glass and adamantine. This object is adorned with hanging rings of pigtail and menaces with spikes of cinnabar and adamantine. On the item is an image of wolves in green glass. Yeah, this is worth. This is worth. This is worth one and a half million! The arm is an image of, of Strife Woman, the Puzzling Urge, the Steel Shield. On the item is an image of Keshen Buck Rampage, the Dingo Man. Keshen Buck Rampage is laboring. The Moth Dash is a large stationary silk stringed instrument with a stone body. The instrument rests flat as the musician plucks. 
The instrument rests um, but it's the eight strings. Tuning is possible with adjustable bridges. Uh, the tuning is also possible using small levers. The instrument is a three and a half octave range going from very low to a middle pitch. It has three registers. The low register has a noisy vibrating uh, heavy timber. The middle register begins at low pitch and has a strong vibrating piercing strident timber. A high register register begins at mid low pitch and has a focused brittle pure so did you give that to us did you give this to the fort you offered it to the fortress well it's made of green glass so think it should be a centerpiece of the bedroom that the duke is in that likes green glass. I think that's only fair, wouldn't you say? It's only fair. I'm also going to save after getting that. That's one and a half million. That's ridiculous. And amazing. I think it's the most valuable item I've ever made in Dwarf Fortress. Ever. 150k. I thought it was one and a half million. 152. Okay. Still expensive. Still extremely expensive if it's a hundred and fifty odd thousand. That's a lot of money. And that's all the adamantines work, by the way. Because adamantine is a strange metal from every from beyond the everything. Yeah, it's hundred and yeah, it's 152,000. Still, that puts this 124,000 into perspective. So we got a fair few migrants. I see like seven migrants right now. Any animals come with them? She won't care. I don't think. So what new arrivals do we have? Oh no, we've been a bit too long with that. Okay, names. Here we go, we have a peasant, a fish cleaner, a glazer, a mason, an administrator, a fisher dwarf, and a glass maker. Are you a, no, you're actually, you're actually a, uh, an administrator, huh, well, We got names to do. The quest for knowledge never ends. We've got names to do. We have some people, so Lanik7 gets a name. Who else do we have? I think there's a couple of people here that might, uh... We might actually have it all just be people that have, uh... Sorted out with stuff. So, anyone else? I will I will do a few picks and see if there is uh, anyone else. There are quite a few! We have... Coffee Fodder, the fish cleaner. We have... Moosey. We have... Yeah, I, I think we've already picked me. Uh, oh, sorry, not, not name, sorry, pick. Yeah, there's more. Uh, there's Awesome Poe.
There's also... Ah! So how many more do we have? So that I can... There are three more. And I haven't actually got Name the Dwarf set up, so let me, uh... Let me try and sort that. Hang on. Quickly edit my rewards. I should really do it this way around. There we go. It should be available. The creative impulse is so valuable. Alright, we, we have redeemed names. Also, we have tons of vomit. Just vomit everywhere. Welcome to Paper Cup, capital of this kingdom. Here's the vomit. Buff drink lots. I love it. We also have E Boogaloo. And space for one more. And that's specious with the last one. Oh, no, no. oh. I mean, I could find a cat. I could name a cat after you. Like, after your, your thing. You let old take it? No, no, no. We, 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 we have cats. We have cats. It's alright. I'll find a cat for you. Now you'll wait. Oh, okay. You might be wait. If another dwarf turns up. You can have that one. Come on. Another dwarf should turn up. Oh, no more dwarves are turning up. Rat people are turning up, though. <sighs> okay. Looks like we have rat people. Pull this lever. We'll fuddle them in one way. Uh oh. Oh no, Lily! Well, Lily the cat is dead. I don't think Harvey's gonna be happy to hear that. At all. Right, which, which dwarves are available? Looks like you're the ones that are gonna be fighting today. Sad, I know. So we basically have everyone station. That means that I can literally have you guys be protected. Because those rat people are slowly going to get closer. Fun fact, I wonder if they're ever actually going to get to where they need to be. Adamantine high boots, excellent. We shall assign them to our good friend here. Where are they? Where are those high boots? There's one. There's Ooh, that's a masterworked high boot. Very nice. Ah, uh, 
going to be called Belscrim. And Gravel Canyon. There we go. The Rodent Spearwoman is fighting a kitten. Truly we are dealing with the most dangerous of foes. Okay, so do you... Yeah, so interestingly, what are you doing? Spook, do not clean a trap. No, we are cancelling that order. So even though they have the order to stay in, they will breach that if I specifically order them to station. What are you doing? No, do, do not construct a building either. No. By the way, we found even more rat people. Oh good, chase the rat, chase the cats. Oh look, you're dead. <laughs> Why are you actually to station here? Like, that was a plan. By the way, we, we found even more. They are trying to get through. Oh, there's a couple of them. That was a great plan. So he... The rat person ran through one set of traps and died to the second set of traps. And yep. Yep, you also died. You managed to make it through. So they're just killing all of my cats. Also Oh 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 they they are they're going for it. Well, let us now say that the military can now do stuff because, yeah, you've charged forward alone. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, you're, you're going for it. Yep. Yep, teddy bear is charged in. Guess we're just going to have to order some, some smashing of faces now. Go for it. How how you doing? You're tired already. This could end badly for you. How good are you at fighting? Pretty good. You're not exerted yet though. No, this'll this'll be a lot easier now. Two people are here. And Teddy has just ended into a martial trance. Yeah, this is a formality now. This is an absolute formality. Right, how many more do I have to deal with? Where are you? A lot of invaders. Oh, they're all over here just dying to traps. I mean, that is a plan. You can certainly do that. Mayhem. Yippee! And then there is Pegasus, uh, Pegasaurus there. Prime Gaming. Three months and a two-month streak. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. How did you end up on the roof? 
By the way, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, which means you have a Prime sub, you can spend it on a like, you can even spend it on me! Give me Jeff Bezos money, but seriously, how did you end up on the roof? Did you... Okay, you got so scared that you climbed up the wall onto the roof. Well, at least you're safe. You're very safe. Meanwhile! Yeah, just kind of mopping up here. Really just mopping up here. You are seriously injured, unconscious and nauseous. And I think we might have finished you. Yep, you're just dead. And I think that, yeah, we need to uh, quote that. We need to quote that. Good, good shout there, Alias. How did you get on the roof? And how do I get you off the roof? You are already off the roof. Cats, ladies and gentlemen. Just cats. There's one more rodent. We have forged an adamantine sword. I misspelled ad quote. I did. Good call. There we go. So that's another terrible crisis averted. An adamantine breastplate has also been done. Right, I need to assign these to you. Um, there's the adamantine sword. There it is. It's a decent -ish one. And the adamantine breastplate is really good. Um. Dust bust? Yep. Absolutely. And what else do we have? So we have dust bust and... Yeah, it is. Portal spots. There we go. Those items are yours, and you, you have made a terrible decision. Yeah, you are dead. Okay, good. All's good. Now we can just sort out everything. So, shields! Because we love ourselves a bit of, uh... Bit of extra resources. Not that one though. Oh, oh no. The EP promote is the best thing. It, it's a it's a good amount. It's a really good amount. So now spears. Because we got ourselves a lot more spears. So these ones get melted, everything else we just keep. Excellent, right. Let's set some more traps, shall we? Because I'll tell you what, the traps did a really, really good job of whittling down those foes. Like, they really did. They did a a fantastic job.
So we should make more traps. Because they tend to come from this angle. So let's just make more traps. Also, we're going to use that. Sp yeah, we'll use that spear. Copper mace. Couple of these. All these spears. And all these spears. We have a lot of spears. And all of these traps, just you know. I'm gonna use some of these dolomite mechanisms. Why not? This one here. Copper spears. Wow, this gave us a lot. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to worry about this area anytime soon. You know, to make sure we don't have to worry about this area anytime soon, we're also going to make a few more traps here. S steel spears? Yep. Just throw some steel spears in there, because we do have a ton of steel spears. There we go! So this area has... Five layers of trap. Five layers of trap. That is, as they would say, ridiculous. But I think that went pretty well. How's this doing, by the way? Okay. We have two occupants. So I now want to assign tons and tons of, like, wild animals that we have. Like this blind cave bear. The Drathler. The Gorlack. These Drathler. That elk bird. These Drathla, more elk birds, more Drathla. Another camel. Yes, they can all fit in here. There we go. So all of them can be assigned to this cage. We shall make another lever. And we shall put it here. And it shall be made of claystone. It's a long-winded plan. But I think in the long run this will all work out. Also, we can lower this bridge now. In your own time. So yeah, that went pretty well. Did anyone suffer any injuries? Duckman is just sort of standing there. Yeah, I think we're all good. Also, if you're curious about the statue Demon Dragon, your statue is right here. The superior quality statue of Demon Dragon. There you go, it's the Labor of Trusses, where you killed the rat person. Also, this, this Moldog is fighting, and by fighting, I mean dying, along with everything else there. 
are we done with mining this area? We're not doing bad at mining this area. We could probably mine that. And this is probably safe. Masatu is how on earth did you manage that? With with great gusto, you, you channeled your inner YOLO. So much YOLO. Masterpiece donkey bone bolts. Oh, we have some nicer uh, armor here. So, this is a very, very long-winded plan of, of dealing with this monster. Do we have a second rat person in there now? There's only two in there at the moment. It's going to take a while to assign all these creatures. But we'll get there. And then we'll send them all against this monster. And hopefully they'll they'll kill it. I really want them to kill it. But I get the feeling that because it flies, it just stays out of like attack range. It is bored, by the way, after being unable to argue for too long. A gremlin! Oh no! Wait, never never mind, it's it's already gone. Gremlins, by the way, can completely avoid all traps. Uh, all traps are completely ignored by a gremlin. We should absolutely save after uh, a great victory. Apparently I misspelled it, so I'm sticking with it. It's a great victory now. The great victory. Fantastic victory was had. I mean, this has been a, a stream of great accomplishments. YOLO, that musical instrument that is wonderful in... in Kikoskia's room. Have the final bits of adamantine equipment been made and been assigned to Kikoskia? Maybe we could, Kikoski could get. Ooh, Kikoski could get some training at some point. I don't know, Lanix. No, we still have a few things that need to be forged. Could give Kikoski some training at some point. It might not be a bad idea. They're a dabbling axe dwarf. Should have made him an axe. But oh well, they've got a sword now. I could also give them an axe. I guess. Oh yeah, we should totally do that. There we go. There's a bit of lava everywhere. I'm a bit, bit of a, not much of a fan of the lava being everywhere. Mm. It's a bit of a problem. Look at all those bone bolts we're making. Look at all the things that don't happen. Look at all the fact that we still have absolutely tons of bones. We should still make bone items. Some 
bone crowns wouldn't go amiss. Name another, like, a hundred. We could sell them. Okay, do we have any more thread? We have one. We should quit that order for Adamantine now. I have like one thread. So if we now go wafer and say one. Also, she's ended mandates and gone, by the way, make me a cage. I'm like, okay, we shall forge you a cage. Furniture. You're probably right. You're not right. It's not there either. I probably just missed it. It's there, it's just under bucket. Oh, I'm just blind then. That's not in alphabetical order at all! Like, I was hoping it would be in alphabetical order. It's like, no! You want it in alphabetical order? That's not happening! And it wants to do is mine these areas. We've uncovered what must be a treasure of the gods. A large pockmarked metal tunic. Well, that is going in the vault. Lock that away for now until the vault is open. We do want to mine that. Not necessarily that one, though. Ha! Well, that's a lot of water. And lava. That did that just kill someone? Yeah, I think someone just got obsidianed. Less a dwarf went poof, and more a dwarf went uh, obsidian. So, lava flowed in, obsidian happened, and then they died.
This can happen. I don't know who it was, though. It's a pock-marked tunic, I think. Yeah, that goes there. No, that dwarf will not require a burial. Very much so, they won't. No, sadly, they're not hibernating. It's more like they're, they're deadening. Also, we know there's a lot of lava down here, too. Oh boy, do we know there's a lot of lava there. So that solved that problem. Think you can get the corpse back when you mine the model, uh, the uh, the rock? Well, we'll find out, shall we? Did Crozy Robo die when mining? I may have missed it. Um, no, still, still here. Someone else died. The good news is, the water has got a lot of places to go. Which is nice. Also, we have a couple of hatches here. Yeah, you know, just just in case. So deal with all of that. All of this is going to drain out to here, and we'll have a lot of areas where we can just, you know, mine riches. There's probably something nasty in there. And there. But we can safely mine that, and that, and that, and this, and that. I like how you're trying to store items in the bin and it's just like, nope, too much water. And there's mist. People like mist, actually. That will make people really happy if they walk through it. That mist. So let's see if we can get that corpse back. Yeah! We actually have Punch Rockfist's uh, corpse. It's right there. We have found Punch Rockfist. They are very, very dead. So yeah, it was Punch Rockfist. I'm sorry. Not a lot I can do though. Are you happy about the mist? Satisfied at work. So I've learned that you can get the bodies back. I did not know this. Also, oh no! So let's stop this plan here with this. So basically that animal got really, really, really mad and um, tried to, to to kill everything. So Cav, are you okay? Oh no, Cav, are you are you okay? Oh no, Cav's fine. Terrified, however, about being in conflict. Where is the bear? The bear is very dead. Is Cav still happy? Cav is still happy. Good, good. Yeah, bear is a, is a bit dead. So let's stop transporting them. Orphan child. Lots of people got involved in that fight. Multiple people got involved. Oh, Adamantine Shield is done. 
Okay, what's the next thing on that list? Just adamantine mail shirt and gauntlets. Um, Kiko, I've got more awesome things to give you. Alright. Do you want this amazing adamantine shield? There it is. It is going to be called... Um... Coal Sack. Speaking of uh, coal, which is not at all related to anything, the Avatar tax just got redeemed by Ada. Thank you ever so much. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. The leather worker has been stung by a bee. By the way, manager there just really laid into uh, that enemy. Flings seeds around like confetti. This is a lot of hanging around here. Yep. So punch rock fist. Okay, we know combat happened. You don't need to keep telling me that combat happened. Is the magma man still about, by the way? Okay, people, I don't want to panic anyone, but I don't know where the magma man is. Okay, you're not fighting anyone either. Some people probably got injured. Did someone get injured? Two bad dwarves don't have a chance of surviving being encased in obsidian. I'm gonna just, just say something now. Like, lava is exceptionally dangerous, and, uh,. I don't think many people would survive being encased in obsidian for longer than anything. Like, it would be pretty deadly. I hate the Magma Man. 9 out of 10 doctors recommend not doing that. Yeah, I am one of those 9 out of 10 doctors. It's less the breath and more of the super ridiculous hot magma colliding with the water and immediately solidifying into obsidian. You're not going to be, like, neatly encased in it. You're going to be melted. And suffocated by the fumes. Yeah, you will... You will not survive the process of making the adamant... The obsidian around you. At least you managed to deploy all of these really quickly. <laughs> And we also move the corpse. <laughs> so there we go. Nice and organized all this. And we're grabbing all of the items that used to belong to that uh, poor miner. But you know what? I think all in all things didn't... Oh, the helm's done. The helm's done. Where's the helm? There's the helm. It's a good quality helm, too. Um, it's going to be called... Hmm. Tower Socket! Are you carrying all these things, by the way, Kokoskia? You carrying them? Yes! Yes, you are! You are hauling the helmet! No, no, no! Wear the helmet, as well as your two crowns!
You also wearing the... The breastplate is yours too, yes. So he's mostly equipped with all this stuff. Yeah, that would that would be bad, specialist. It would be bad. But you know, we we've gotta we've gotta have tradition here in where we end up finishing for today. Because you've had a really productive time. Yeah, not a lot of times passed in game. But a lot of really cool things have occurred. Like YOLO, like that Like that fight and the item we've made and It was a good fight. An entertaining fight. Like an entertaining stream that I hope you have all had today. With me. Hopefully. YOLO is absolutely today's MVP. Absolutely. And I must thank you all for being here for this stream today. Because seriously, you are all absolutely amazing and fantastic and brilliant and wonderful. And there are a couple of things that I need to quickly talk about before we conclude. First off... Again, thanking you all. Second, telling you about my No Problem Derpy, and uh, thank you very much for the notifications again, uh, Demon Dragon. First off, my website, kikoska.com. You can check out all kinds of things there, including my schedule. You can be with Andy of You can also find links to where you can buy my program and hope. No problem, specialist. There's also, and uh, Ghidorah, there's also my Discord, where you can join a large and thriving community. I'm often there talking about all kinds of stuff, including but not limited to all of the various Let's Plays and stuff I've been playing. There's also a section for talking about my writing. And if you link your Twitch and Discord together and your subscription Twitch, you can use the Twitch emotes and Discord, which is fantastic. Then there's my Patreon, where you can pledge to support me in doing what I do. There's something Let's Play or Streamwise hidden behind paywalls, but there is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you typically do not see. Like all the editing, compression, and test streams, and test recordings, and everything else that I do that makes all that I do a reality. And those that do pledge to me really do make it possible. Like, I couldn't do what I do without the people that pledge to me there. And those that do pledge not only get a different coloured name on Discord and my deep and sincere thanks, they also get the ability to both not comment playthroughs and the opportunity arises. No problem, Deus and Alias. There's also my YouTube channel where you can check out all of my content, and Ada as well, eh? thank you. All 10,000 plus videos I've made over 15 years. I'm so old. And there's all my Twitch VODs there too. There's loads of stuff for you to check out. And those of you that do check out my stuff there and sub, which I greatly appreciate, get me one step close to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. If we get to 60,000 and every 5k interval afterwards, we'll do a playthrough of a game the community votes for. And if we get to 100,000, lofty goal indeed, I'll do a playthrough of Terror from the Deep, a replay. And we'll do a replay stream of Wisdom Warriors 2 Iron Sword. There's also a million, if we ever get to that goal, I'll do those eyelash tutorials that people keep asking for. And if we get to 300 Twitch sub points, we are at two, uh, 265, so only 35 points away. If we get there, I'll do playthroughs on stream of both Action 52 games, and then I'll play a game the community votes for. Then there is my Twitter and my other social medias, like my Instagram and Mastodon, or my YouTube community tab and my Discord. There you can get notifications about when I start streaming and my Let's Play videos go live and all kinds of random other stuff. Finally, there is my throne wishlist, where you can check out all of the content that, uh, oh sorry, not all the content, that's me thinking about uh, YouTube. Throne is where you can check out the wishlist of all the awesome stuff that you can buy for me. Little things to provide me with joy. You could even suggest things if you have suggestions. Finally, no problem Crow, I need to thank all of you because seriously, you are all absolutely amazing and brilliant and wonderful and fantastic. And I couldn't do what I do without you. I don't want to want to do what I do without you. You are the reason I can make all of this. You truly are. I, I know I say it every time, but it, I really mean it. You are the reason this is possible. You're the reason this career of mine is possible. And, oh yeah, I do have a Twitch account, by the way, just in case you know, didn't know. You might know, though. But seriously, you, you're just all wonderful and supportive and kind and the most generous and amazing community I could ever hope for. And you humble me with how much you like my stuff, and how much you support, and make all what I do possible. And I hope to be able to keep doing this for many years, as many years as is possible. And with your continued support, this will be possible. So, thank you all ever so much, everyone. Seriously, thank you. And thank you, Dark Jade. Um, you might see me, who knows? Thank you. Seriously, thank you. 
And whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope you achieve everything you set out to do. The next stream is tomorrow. 2 p.m. BST Animal Crossing New Horizons, the last stream for a little while, as I'm terrible at arranging holidays and I have another one coming up, so I'll be away again for a little bit. But that'll be the last holiday for a good while. A good while indeed. It's gonna be a much uh, leaner holiday in terms of doing stuff this time round. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. And remember, be nice to each other, everyone. For if everyone's nice to each other, the world would be that much better a place. And we all want that, don't we? Well, I certainly do. And I hope you do too. Later. And thank you, Rotaranek. Hope you all have a good day. Later.